Hey everybody, Spartan here from SpartanTrading.com. I want to hit you guys with a educational video, but it's somewhat of an educational and trade review. Um, basically, I'm going to use a trade that I did from today to show you guys how to do this. I'm going to explain to you how it works, and uh, yeah, we'll kind of just go from there. So, what I want to talk to you guys about today is a ladder, an options ladder. Uh, the way that I do ladders is probably different than other people, but the way that a ladder would work is you would take multiple uh, strikes either on the same expiration or you can take different expirations, but different strikes on the same underlying stock. In this case, today was HYLN. Now, HYLN today, which was and is February 11th, um, this name was breaking out on volume from basically news coming out. News came out, started to push to the upside. I got involved with it immediately on weekly contracts. I then took next week's expiration, the same, same strike, and then I took March expiration, a higher strike, and then I took another higher strike in March. So I did a ladder in March, as well as I did you know multiple strikes in the short term. Um, you know, two being the same, and then you also see I did a thirty um, call strike as well for I believe it was next week, which I'll show you again. But you'll see all this in a second. So HYLN breaking out. Why would we do a ladder on something? A ladder is done on a name that you think is going to have a lot of momentum. Now, you could just put all that money into one trade, um, you know, one strike, whatever, and hold that and, you know, sell it as it goes along. That's fine. But what I like to do and what a ladder does, it just ensures that profit is locked in. It's the mixture between a roll and, you know, essentially a normal options trade. Now, when we roll something, if you guys are familiar or unfamiliar, um, you can watch one of the older videos that I've done on options rolling. It's when you take profits from a previous option position and you buy another position. Now, the difference between a ladder and a roll is you're closing out on a roll, typically your old position to buy this new position. On a ladder, you have both strikes still open. So you could have a 20 strike open. You're going to sell half of that. You're going to take half of those profits by a 25 strike. So essentially, you're making a stair step or a ladder to the upside of strikes. Now, you know, obviously if strikes are just, you know, here, 20, 30, 35, it would look like a ladder, right? Because you're gonna own every single one of them. So ladders, you're owning multiple strikes as it continues to push to the upside. It's something that you do when there's momentum on a, um, op or on a uh, ticker or a underlying stock with options. And we do it so that we ensure that some profit is locked in and you can take full advantage, advantage of that momentum to the upside or the downside if we're you know selling off. So in this case, HYLN was breaking out to the upside. Um, I immediately saw that it had room to the 50 MA, which is what, what my first target was once that broke. It was this next resistance area around 20, um, 1980, $20. And then once that broke, I was looking at around the uh, 24, 2385 was the next resistance. So let's talk about and look at what, what you know trades that I actually did. Now, uh, the first one that I took out the gate was a weekly uh, 20 contract, which we'll look at that one first. So I bought these at 25 cents. I actually took a huge amount at uh, 25. I wasn't moving for a while, so I ended up reducing the size. You can see that it didn't move for about 13, 14 minutes. Um, actually, more than that. But it didn't move for a while, so I ended up reducing that size. 19 minutes, it didn't move. I ended up reducing the size, but holding about you know one half of that. Usually when news comes out, I'll go really big because usually the news is gonna push it to the upside. In this case, it didn't. It consolidated for a while and it eventually did take off. I had half my position left. Um, ended up pushing, sold some at 35, 38, 37, and then I just held about one half of that half that I had left, which would be a normal position size. Sold some at 155, and then I exited the uh, final amount at uh, 375. I bought a little bit for the blow off, you know, added back into my position, and then sold the rest at 375. So all in all, it was around a 1400% trade, 13 whatever. 100% um, change. Um, now, while this was going on, I also did take a couple other things. So, I took the next week's 20 calls, which I grabbed a bunch at 90 cents. And then I essentially sold this one on the way up. You know, sold some at 110, 152, and then 380. What I did was I took some of those profits, I laddered them into the March 35 call, or sorry, March 25 calls. Grabbed some at 140, sold some at 245, 240, uh, 268, and then at $5. As this was going on, and I took these profits and I laddered those into the 30 calls, 
which you know you can see here I grabbed some at two and sold some at you know three bucks and then 380 on the upside. Um, and I'm still holding a piece of the March 30s and the 25s on a swing overnight. So you can see that a ladder will keep you in a position longer. It will allow you to take your profits and make them work for you. You can hold your initial position, which is what I did. Um, and I'm gonna actually show you that. So this is the initial position. I held it basically all the way to the end of the move, sold the rest of it. And meanwhile, you can see that the other um, um, you know, positions I took were pretty quickly as well. So you know, I took the other one 20, 30 minutes before maybe, and then I immediately grabbed some more with my profits of the, this one was and is the 20 next weeks. And then I grabbed the 20s in March. We can see, you know, a little bit later I took those and I was selling those on the way up. And then the 30s, you know, and I took these a little bit later, again, using the profits to buy these. It ensures that these positions that you're taking on, you have some profit locked in. Um, you have, you know, protection in that regard. There's no risk on these rolls that you're laddering into so that you're gonna have a little bit more conviction to hold these things um, as they're pushing to the upside on momentum. I find that laddering on something with momentum is probably the best way to make a lot of, or a lot more um, um, profit on a momentum moving name because it allows you to stay nimble. It allows your emotions to be in check because you know that profit's being locked in and that you're using profits to take um, further positions, which means you don't have any risk on those new positions. Um, and you're gonna just gonna you know be a lot more patient, have more conviction. So I think it's a great strategy for traders to implement. In a perfect world, yeah, you could say that you could have just bought the original contracts with more, um, or just continue to add into them, and you know just allowed it to push to the upside. But when I, I find that that type of logic, when you put it to application, it just doesn't work. You know, people are emotional. Um, some people, you know, it doesn't matter how how you know what type of a trader you are. There's gonna be some emotion at some point and you're gonna make mistakes at some point. The thing with trading, especially short dated contracts, is they're, they are very volatile and they can give back the gains pretty quickly. What I love to do is ladder into further and further out expirations. The volatility becomes less, and if you do wanna end up holding that momentum name overnight, you can do so without worrying, and you, know, you can actually have a lot more you know, patience with that because you're not gonna have that theta decay or even premium decay if it starts to you know base for a day and consolidate before it makes the next leg up anyways that's what i wanted to talk to you guys about today hopefully you understood the concept of a ladder and again that's just taking one strike then another strike above that another strike above that another strike above that in my situation i was taking different expirations but um, multiple different strikes uh, you know a lot of the times people will say a ladder is on the same expiration but again you know teach their own this is how i do it um, but yeah hopefully that helped you guys this is something that i do on all momentum movers, um, if I do get the opportunity to. Like I said, it's a great way to lock in a little bit more profit and have a little bit more conviction on something moving with momentum. Anyways, hope you guys learned something. I'll talk to you guys next week and thanks for watching.